Halo, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh It's me, Indar, mom of Ayaran uh, It's very nice to meet you again In this uh, video, I'd like to share about how to make a coin purse from leather scraps And it's an eco printed leather, which is I made myself But before I start, don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave your comment below Thank you Okay, for the patterns, uh, you can download the link written on the description. You can download it for free. And let's get started. Uh, things we need uh, um, leather scraps. I echo printed uh, this uh, coat skin by myself. For the side, for the side body, I use suede fabric, and this is a cotton fabric for lining. And of course, in this case, we need a, we need an interlining. It has glue on one side, so we have to iron it uh, to the wrong side of the lining or the altar. And this is clasps we used, and of course a short trap. First, we have to trace the pattern to uh, the altar, whether it is in the leather on or the suede. Uh, here, I already prepared one, but because I prepared it in ten uh, to hand stitches first. I reduce the interlining, not include the seam allowance. If you use a um, sewing, uh, sewing machine, it will be better include one centimeter seam allowance as drawn in the pattern. And in case your scrap is not enough to make it was one piece, you can just join it. Extend the bottom one centimeter for a seam allowance. Sew it and the uh, uh, and then iron the lining on it. And here I will show you how to prepare the lining. First, trace the pattern to the interlining. In this tutorial, I used the outer for example. And after tracing, uh, we just cut it. And don't forget to snipping it too uh, to mark the center of the part. After that, we put in we put after that we put uh, to the wrong side of the lining and iron it. This way we will make lining neater. Then if we cut uh, the lining first, this also avoid us to trace the pattern twice it's saving time, right? I already cut two pieces of the interlining for side part either repeat the process as the previous one put it in the lining, iron and cut it and now we will attach the side part and the main part. And of course, we have. Uh, don't forget to uh, make a small V or snip the center of the parts, either the side body or the main part, uh, as a mark. It will help us as a starting point uh, to match the seam allowance to line up the seams. Pin it from its center as starting point. 
do the same with the lining Okay, finish spinning the side part and the main part. We, we can continue with sewing. Start and stop uh, your stitch one centimeter from the edge. And don't forget, of course, to reverse the stitch from the very start till the end of the stitching. Fully sew both sides of the outer to the main part, but for lining, keep some distance unsewn. Uh, let it open to turn the inside out. And before turn the inside out, don't forget to snip the steam. Make it a uh, make a small piece. Turn the good side of the outer out and put it to the lining. Keep the seams match and set opposite. Use clips or pin to keep it on their position. So all around. Make small marks on the center of the balls. Match it to the center of the clasp. Start hand stitching. Make a temporary one at first. Just to keep it on their position. Start from the center and go down to the hinge.
pull the push the top of the purse into channel of the clasp. It will so it will look nice. For the longer scraps, I used to make a full hand stitches, but for the small one, shorter one, I think it's not necessary. Making a temporary stitch half of the length is enough, I think. It's up to you if you have uh, more time to pull these hand stitches. Now, it's time to make a permanent stitch. I use nylon thread. It will invisible on the fabric uh, because uh, it's transparent colors. Uh, in this in this uh, tutorial, I use four strands to hand stitch to make this uh, permanent stitch. And to make a permanent stitch, start from the second hole of the clasp. Push the needle from inside to outside of the of the purse. Then go back inside to the first hole of the clasp. From um, its position, uh, which is the first hole, push it through, push it, uh, push it out. Uh, through the third hole, then go back inside through the second one. Repeat the process from hinge to hinge uh, on the both sides of the clubs. Same the temporary thread, which is we really not uh, longer use. And makes uh, the inside of the purse look neat and nice by pushing it uh, to the channel of the clasp. Okay, here we are. The purse is ready, but uh, there is one thing left to do, uh, which is uh, well, actually, it's so. First, we have to close the opening inside uh, with hand stitching, and uh, the second is we have to put the strap on it, and uh, to this mission, <laughs> we need a set of pliers. Well, now the coin purse is really ready. You can make it and give it to as a gift to our beloved one, our grandma, our mom, best friend, or whoever. Just name it. It's up to us. It's up to you. It's up to me. <laughs> and moreover, uh, besides we can just give it, we can sell it on the market and of course makes money from it. Well, 
hope you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to subscribe share like and leave comment below and see you on my next tutorial thank you for watching assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh